So I've got no time to waste in this particular video. I'm going to show you and break down to you exactly how I made 86,588 US dollars in 45 days flat with an Instagram page that's not even built up. I'm going to also show you how I, you know, hook that in with a YouTube channel as well. You don't have to be a YouTuber for this. You don't have to be famous for this, but I'm going to show you if you're an agency owner, if you're a coach, a consultant, trying to sell some sort of info product, a course, if you're trying to build a personal brand, how you can replicate this so you can sell high ticket services, a high ticket pr program, maybe a high ticket or even low ticket digital program as well. What I'm about to show you is actually going to genuinely change your life. So if you can't sit around for the remainder of this video, please click off this video right now because if you can't even watch this, there's, there's no point in you even trying to start this because it requires consistency. It's not gonna be easy, but it is replicable. The reason why it's replicable is because it's a system, a step-by-step -step methodical system. And if you're wondering why I'm doing these videos so in depth and why I want to go so just comprehensively into this stuff, right? Is because I know that there's going to be a time where I'm going to give you so much value that eventually I earn your business. So here's my nefarious plan, if you can even call it that. Yes, I'm doing air quotes. My nefarious plan, and you tell me if this sounds like a fair deal. I want to, for free, don't click any of my links, you don't need to, for free, I'm going to give you so much value that you can actually take my YouTube channel and start making money from my YouTube channel using these videos that I'm shooting for you right now, right? And eventually what's gonna happen is you're gonna start making money for free using my channel, using the stuff that I'm talking about right here, because I'm gonna break this down in extreme detail so you can replicate it, right? So this is the, this is the aim to get you money in your pocket so that you eventually start thinking, hey, this Montel guy knows what he's talking about. Maybe I should eventually start working with him or maybe I should reach out to him to maybe help, help me scale this. Because to be fair, it was him what made me the first $2,000 per month, $3,000 per month, $5,000 per month from just his YouTube channel. And this has happened many times over, by the way. I have people right now walking around making like five grand a month just from my YouTube channel, 10 grand a month just from my YouTube channel. There are people on YouTube right now replicating my exact videos, teaching the stuff because they've been able to build themselves up and then they've started jumping on YouTube and replicating the stuff that I'm talking about. They won't give me credit for it. In fact, I've got some of the biggest gurus right now, I'm not joking, in this industry, especially in the SMA industry, watching my actual Instagram stories, watching my every move. I'm not gonna say any names. They've got bigger channels than mine, by the way some big names. I'm not going to say any names, but I know what I what sort of effect I've had on the market, not in an egotistical way. And I know there's people out there that are taking my stuff and not even giving me credit for it, which is completely fine. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you change your life by showing you how to attract customers, clients for free. So you can actually start selling your services, your coaching programs, your info products, whatever it is that you're selling. And again, if you can't sit down to watch this video, you might as well click off now because I don't even want you guys to even remotely even consider working with me in the future. Just, just go, like literally leave. If you can't sit down and watch this, like, can you, do you know how hard it is to scale a business? Do you know how long I've been in this game for? I'm here to tell you that this, this stuff is not all roses and petals. Like if you want to be an entrepreneur, you've got to be serious about this stuff. You've got to be willing to sacrifice. You've got to be willing to learn. You've got to be willing to put, you know, that risk in, in there. There's, all, there's always a financial risk. There's always a risk that it's not going to work out. With stuff like this, though, I'm going to show you what really, really works as of today. So let's jump into this. I pr hopefully premised this enough to get all of the Peppa Pig brains and all the people that are looking for like Looney Tune animations and dramatic Netflix stories and all that sort of stuff. Again, I don't want them on my channel. I've worked with people like that. They can't even sit down and do the things I'm telling them anyway in my programs. So there's no point in me even like even speaking to them. So you might as well just get off, off the YouTube channel. You might as well literally just get off, just unsubscribe, get off the YouTube channel. For those that want to actually make money though, I'm going to teach you for free. Again, my nefarious plan is to earn your business over time. There you go. Straight clear like that. Nothing, no manipulation, no pretending I'm not selling anything. Of course, I'm going to sell you something eventually. But at least I'm transparent about it. Remember all those guys that came, came up in the game and started trying to give out this free value? They said, oh, we don't sell courses, blah, blah, blah. And then they went and sold you go high level for $500 a month each. Come on, guys, you got, you, got to, you got to think better than this, guys. But anyway, long story short, my nefarious plan is to provide you with so much value that I build up what you call the law of reciprocity. That's all I'm doing. I just want to make, I want to make you money first for free using these videos. And then eventually, maybe you come and work with me. That's it. That's all I have to do. So 
That's all I have to say, should, uh, should I say. So let's jump straight into it because we've got a lot of stuff to cover. First of all, I'm going to break down the overall stats on, you know, and, and I'm going to break down the stats of the 86K made, 86.5K made in 45 days. I'm going to show you the profit margins. I'm going to show you the revenue breakdown, the actual proof of the transactions, the actual individual transactions coming in, not all of them, it would take me ages to go and find those. I'm gonna show you the time frames, and then gonna jump in and show you what the ad spend breakdown look like, what sort of kind of like ads, I'll talk about the ads as well, because I know that a lot of you guys are gonna to wanna to, um, kind of like replicate what, what to say in the ads. I'm then gonna show you how an ISB business works and why you should use it, you know, build an, what you call an information synthesizer business. I'm then gonna show you the cross pollination funnel, the exact funnel that I used. Then I'm gonna show you the key takeaways. Then I'm gonna show you why this stuff works and why you should stop doing cold outreach, why it actually absolutely sucks. And I'm gonna show you proof of my other students doing the exact same thing. Here you go, here's Nick, he's built a 45K um, audience, 45,000, almost 45,000 uh, people audience in the last like three months. I'm gonna com compare and contrast that to cold outreach because I know a lot of you guys are doing wacky stuff like cold outreach still in 2024, which is just ridiculously stupid. And if you don't believe me, I'm gonna show you literally screenshots from this week of people that are probably doing way more cold outreach than you, have better scripts than you, and still can't get clients. So let's break this down. So the overall stats were this. So the total revenue in total was 86,588 US dollars in 45 days flat. I made 66K of that in the first 30 days and then went on to make, you know, whatever that is, 20 to 20K in the next 15 days. My total expenses over that period was about 5,400 US dollars. So my profit margins were actually to be exact, it was 93.83%. So if you're wondering how much I get to keep out of this, this is the number, you know, you, you know, whatever eight, whatever 93% of uh, this number actually is. And then obviously I have to pay tax over here in the UK. The tax has now gone from, I think it was 21% or 20, yeah, it was 20% corporate tax, right? So the tax was on a profit. Um, so I'll be taxed on a 93% of this number. 20% wise, now it's gone up to, I believe it actually went up in 2023 actually. It's gone up to 25% in the UK. So yes, I am moving to Dubai. So if you've got any Dubai connections, DM me on Instagram or whatever. So let's actually take a look at the time frame. So this was from the 20th of September, 2023 till the 4th of November, 2023. And that's when I burnt out because I took on way too many high ticket clients. And yes, this was all high ticket clients. And the offer, let's break down the offer right now. The offer was a program called the Six Figure Name, which has now evolved into Build Your Leverage. Com. I've actually now just bought the do domain, not even maybe a week ago, called buildyourleverage.com. I only do two things. I only do two things. I repeat, I only do two things. The first thing I do is I help existing agency owners, coaches, course creators, or consultants scale their business, whether that's an info product or it's a um, coaching program, a group coaching program. So if you're, you want to work with me, maybe click the link below, but let me earn your business first. So that's, that's those sort of people. You gotta, all, you gotta be making some significant money. I would say like at least two to three K minimum for you to work with me, my higher level thing. But if, you're a beginner, this is the second thing that we do. We help beginners start a personal brand and build an audience. I call that social leverage. You need to build social leverage, build yourself an audience because attention equals income these days. So I only do two things. Six figure name is the thing that we're talking about today though, that generated the majority of this money. You'll see exactly where the money came from in a second, because I'm gonna do a revenue breakdown, literally not even in two seconds. I'm also gonna break down the entire funnel, so make sure you stay tuned and just give me a second to get through this. I know that I waffle a lot, but it's gonna be valuable. That being said, Six Figure Name is a program aimed at agency owners, online coaches, people that sell info products, those sorts of realms. Why? Because I've been in those realms and I've took each one of those businesses to multiple six figure levels, right? Agency, done that. Coaching, done that. Selling an info product, done that. Those two last businesses are my favorite businesses. I call those information synthesizer businesses where you're actually teaching something that you know to somebody. Right? Obviously you have to, re it does re require you to learn a skill, but learning skills these days can be done for free. I'm just good at personal branding. I'm good at selling information products. I'm good at even selling services to be fair. I've done that, I've got clients inbound. Basically I'm an inbound client attraction machine. I know how this stuff works is what I'm trying to say. So I just help other people build that because cold outreach fucking sucks as you know. So let's break down the revenue. I'm just gonna show you these numbers here these are, and as you can see, I've kind of had to block out the payment methods here, but you can see these are all different. These are all different cards coming in. These are all different invoice numbers. You can see that here's an agency transmutation sale. You can see the date over here as well. I've covered up the customer emails. This one, I just removed the customer emails in total, um, you know, on, on the Stripe. So this is a picture of my Stripe, a screenshot of my Stripe account. 
there's the date going down here. So what you can do is you can pause this to read these. I'm not gonna go through each individual ones, but as you can see, these are like split pays. These are the split pay. So whenever you see 1500 times it by free, because what I do is there's a payment pro there's a payment plan in my program. It's $3,500 upfront. That gives you a discount. There's also a split pay. There's, there's two split pay versions. You can do 2K today and then 2K in 30 days, or you can do 1.5K today times that by free, basically. So it's actually cheaper to do a full pay. That's the incentive I give people. There's also agency tramitation sales. So whenever you see a 997, that just means agency tramitation. Whenever it's broken up into 2.5K, you'll notice that that's probably, if you take a look at the cards here, 1K here, coming from card number one, starting, well, the, the last four digits starts with one, two, one, two. This is somebody who's basically said they wanna pay me but they just the the transaction sometimes this doesn't just doesn't go through the full thirty five hundred. So sometimes you have to take like twenty five hundred dollars, and then like a day later you have to take the, the the rest. Basically, that's just because cards sometimes are funny. So you can kind of like read these and pause these. But as you can see, there's a lot of transactions going through, and you can see the dates from the twentieth of September all the way to the 4th of November, so 45 day period. So just to break down the revenue, because I don't want to go through all of this um, too much, you can pause to, to, to read all of these if you want to, because I know there's going to be someone like, oh my God, this is not real. Nobody can make that much money. Oh my, I'm here to tell you that I'm small. I'm, I know that you don't want to believe this stuff, but not everything you see on the internet is a lie. It, it just isn't. This is just the way the world works these days, guys. People make money online every single day. Your favorite gurus are making money online as you as we speak. It's just that you're so bought into this illusion that you need to work a job and do nine to five that you can't even see that. You're also bought into the illusion that some you're selling a in, selling information equals scam. The reason why is because you think all the information is online for free. So why would somebody pay to for information? That's where you're going wrong. Now that that is that's what I used to think. I used to think the same shit. Why would somebody pay somebody inf for information when you can just go and Google it and learn anything on the internet for free? My answer to that is always this: If that's the case, then why are you still not making fifty k a month right now? Why don't you have abs? Because all of that information is on in, on online for free. Why why are you not making fifty grand a month profit right now? And why don't you have a smoking hot girlfriend or wife? And why don't you have ripped six packs because all of that information on how to do all those things are online for free the reason why is because there's not a lack of information there's too much information which is why information synthesis is important you, can you see where i'm going with this the, the, there's information out there and it's all out there for free the problem is it just takes way too long for you to go through it categorize it distill it and then use that as a step-by-step -step process for you to get a transformation with the information you see what i'm trying to say so the likelihood of you trying to figure something out by doing it all for free with it not being compiled is extremely low. It's still possible, it's just low because people are lazy. People just want a step-by-step -step process for them to follow. So if you wanna replicate this business, your job is to do the legwork for people. It's you that goes out and reads the books comes up with the information or finds the information and distills the information down for people. And then you put that information into a step-by-step -step process that is a replicable process. For example, if like my first program, agency transmutation, we, we mentioned it here. Agency transmutation, the way how agency transmutation came about was first of all, I was asked for it. But the second reason is because I went out there and I tried to build my own marketing agency and I went through all these different courses. There were a bunch of courses, right? And all I did was I took the things that worked for me and removed the things that were fluff. So I went through like 10 different courses. I spent the money. I went through all these bunch of courses, mentors and stuff like that. I, I went through and tested every single thing that they said. Took me ages to figure this stuff out. Took me three years of running an agency to get it to 10K a month, right? And what ended up happening is I found the information that actually worked for me and I disregarded the information that didn't work for me. And then what I did is I combined that information with my experience put on top of that and my own perspective put on top of that. And I came up with a unique way to scale an agency to five to 10K a month. And then what I did is I put that into a step-by-step -step replicable process for other people to follow. If you can hear my stomach going off, by the way, it's because it's early in the morning and I've not had breakfast yet, so forgive me. But you get the point. I took the scattered information and I combined it together to make a step-by-step -step process. The way how I did it was, it was called the hybrid system. The hybrid system was a combination of using Upwork. I didn't really know how to use Upwork. And the way how I used Upwork was kind of like a finesse with the Upwork system because you're not really supposed to take clients off of Upwork. So I kind of finesse Upwork, Upwork, sorry, but I kind of finesse the, finesse the system. 
And I got clients that way, but I didn't just stop there. I took that money from Upwork and I invested it into hiring first line writers and appointment sales. So I taught myself how to hire appointment sales, where to find them, how to train them up, how to do outreach for me, how to do lead scraping for me, all of that. Combine that together to get you this lead generation call booking system for your own agency that produces clients. Then I sold that to other agency owners that needed it. That's all it is. That is all it is, guys. So let me do the revenue breakdown real quick. So it's 15 clients at 3,500 US dollars, works out to be about, uh, you know, about 52,500 to be exact. I had five clients at $1,500 times free, because that was a split pay option. That's the split pay option, $1,500 per month times free. So that comes out to 22,000 US dollars. And two clients at um, two, it was uh, two clients at 4K, so it's 2K split basically. So 2K, there was actually a client down here actually. If I go down here, you'll see this client right here paid 1,300. I think that was like multiple times over to, to until it, until it whatever the number is, until it equaled 4K. Then there's another client here that paid 2K on, on, on PayPal. I don't really like taking PayPal trans transactions, but they did pay the, 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 the remainder of that. Um, after this, by the way, is a screenshot that came from my previous video of, of me doing this breakdown. This is the updated version of that video that, 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 you're, um, that you're watching right now. There was also one student at 3,000, that's when I was testing out my pricing. So that was one of the first first clients. Then there was one beta student for a my lower ticket program, like my, my mid ticket program at two nine seven. And then there were three agency transmutation sales at two thousand nine hundred and ninety one US dollars. So here are the transactions. You can go and you know pause this, read them. There you go. Payment coming in, payment coming in, payment coming in, payment coming in, payment coming in. You get the idea, guys. Scroll through these and you can see. You can pause it, read them. But I'm here to tell you that this stuff actually works, like still works to this day. I'm not even joking. Take a look at this screenshot. This was from literally last night or yesterday. Um, I'm not joking. Like literally yesterday, as I was creating this whiteboard here, I've taken on two new clients, funnily enough. Here's a payment for $2,000. So as you can see, that's a four. that's a 4K client right there split pay that was literally yesterday not joking the day before that as you can see it's sunday the seventh this was on the sixth this was on the fifth so this was on the fifth as well you can see all all of this stuff is is using the same system i'm going to explain the system to you in a second so as you can see we sent 2.6k the day before that which was the 5th of april you received you know that's a payout coming from stripe on the 4th of april another 2.7k that was from this client here as you can see and then from the 4th of april you can see 3,500. So this week alone has been about roughly, it's been about, uh, let's say, it's about 13,000-ish in revenue with about 10,000 US dollars cash collected just this week alone using this exact system. So when I say this stuff works, I'm literally meaning it's, it's working right now today in the last like 24 hours because this was literally not even 24 hours ago. As you can see, the time right now is 11, 17 on my, on my board. And this was, as you can see, screenshot at 2, 2, 2 p.m. So let's jump straight into this. Let me explain how this works with the um, ad spend. So here you can see the ad spend breakdown. These ads didn't, what do you call it? Excuse the account area. I just got something to fix in there. I do have to, I'm kind of worried about that actually. I've not even taken a look at it properly yet. But long story short, guys, as you can see, I'll show you over here from the 20th of September to the 4th of November, you can see the ad spend here. It was this particular ad. So it was one ad. I tested a bunch of ads before this, by the way. I probably spent about 1.2K, I think maybe USD or something, something on the lines of that, testing out different ads. And I turned them off because most of them just didn't work. And it was on a different ad account, by the way. I didn't know you shouldn't run ads on your personal ad account when you're boosting posts on Instagram. So yes, they're boosted posts. Boosted posts aren't gonna get you rich though. It's the, it's the thing that you do after the boosted post. So bear this in mind. So it was 2,000 pounds that I spent in this period of 45 days from the 20th of September to the 4th of November. Ignore all of these other ads, by the way. They did not exist at this moment in time. As you can see, the spends, you, you can actually confirm this by the spends, nothing spent, nothing spent, because they didn't exist back then. So my total ad spend was 2,001 pounds, which equates to about uh, 2.5K in ad spend. My total expenses, you know, business expenses on top of the ad spend was about, you know, it all overall came out to about 5.4, call it 5.4K. So my revenue was about, oh wait, yeah, revenue from my 23 high ticket clients. So you know, excluding agency transmutation, basically. So if you take away the agency transmutation stuff, which is 2.9K and the $297, 
you're left with 83,300 US dollars from 23 high ticket clients in total. My cost per client, so how much it's costing me to get a client at this particular uh, moment in my life, I'm gonna, re, I'm gonna be rebuilding this funnel. You, you'll, be, you, you'll be seeing a lot, of, a lot of me talking about this soon. My cost per client was $109, basically meaning for every $110 I put in basically, I'm getting out one new high ticket client which is insane by the way. I'll explain why it's so insane in a second because you're gonna try and replicate this and you're gonna be like, hey Montel, I spent $100 on Adidas, I didn't get a client. I'm gonna be like, yeah, I know because you haven't got the prerequisite criteria for you to do that. You have to build this up over time and I'll explain that in a second. So my ROAS, so, so, so don't think you're just gonna go and run some boosted posts on Instagram and get rich. You, you, you're just not. I don't wanna make this sound easy or anything like that. I just, I want you to understand this, the, this, this, the system because it is simple. It's just that you need to build it up over time. And that's the thing that you're forgetting. You're forgetting that time plays a factor in your success as well, whether you like it or not, by the way. So my ROAS was about 33.04. That basically means I'm putting $1 in and bringing that 30, $33 back out. And if you actually do the maths on that, it's absolutely insane. If you even think about that, that's like putting $1 into a machine and bringing back out $33. Do you know how crazy you'd go on that machine? Ima just imagine you found a machine on the side of the road and you put $1 in and it brought back out $33. You'd literally take all $33 and you put it back in to 33X your money and then take the 33X money, put it back in to 33X that. You just keep rinsing it over and over and over and over again. I tried doing that, it burnt me out. So I'm gonna be relaunching this, this same funnel after I I've basically built out my mid-ticket product a little bit better, which is the Personal Brand Academy, because I've created what you call a work deficit. I brought on, basically I brought on too many clients too quickly without things being properly in place yet, which, is, which sounds crazy, but that's kind of a good problem to have in business, to be honest with you. That's, that's where you want to be in business. Um, obviously you want to fix this obviously over time, but that's just the, the best place to be. I'd rather, I'd rather you guys be in a work deficit than not have any clients and then worry about having to get clients. I'd rather you have too many clients and then worry about how to serve those clients than the opposite way around. You know what I'm trying to say? So here's how this stuff works. I built what you call an information synthesizer business. So this basically was a business called Six Figure Name. It's now called buildyourleverage.com. So it's a, it's, a, it's a business where we help coaches, consultants, course creators, info product sellers, agency owners as well. And all we do is we basically just help them build a personal brand, what I call social leverage, run ads and attract clients inbound so they can sell more services or digital products. So if you're an agency co owner coming in there, we'll help you sell more services or we'll turn your services into programized services, which is a much better business. Or if you're a beginner, we'll send you to Personal Brand Academy and that will help you build a personal brand, build an audience so you can then monetize that audience in a certain way, whether that's through a high ticket, selling you know, high ticket coaching or a program or a course or a digital product, whatever it is. We basically have done pretty much all of the above. We've done all of the above so I can help you with this stuff. And I actually have results to prove and back all of this stuff up. This is my forte, it's what I'm good at, is what I'm, what I'm trying to say. So here's how I did this in steps. I came up with four different offers to test in two different niches and the niches were coaching and agency owners. I launched about seven different ads, yeah, it was seven ads to see which one got the most traction because I didn't know which offer I wanted to run with. This is probably something similar to what you guys are doing right now. You're, you've got all these different offer ideas but you don't know which one's gonna work and which one's not gonna work. So instead of doing cold outreach to figure out which offer works because cold outreach be, gives you back barely any feedback, here's what I mean by that. I've noticed in the in this agency space, especially, well, not in this agency space, I'm not really in the agency space anymore. I just don't really like the agency space anymore. To be honest with you, it's full of some wacky dudes. But long story short, in this whole internet space or just online services space, a lot of people are trying to come up with these offers and then they're reaching out to be like B2B style businesses and they're getting no responses back. And no responses means you're not getting any feedback back. So what I decided to do instead of doing that and like imagine trying to test seven different offers and send 10,000 emails for each offer that you create. So you've got seven different offers and you need to reach out to 10,000 different people to see, well, it's not that much, but it's like, let's say you reach out to a thousand people to see what, the, the, what the, the response is like. It's like you put a marketing message out there and you wait for the response to come back. Well, I didn't want to do that with cold outreach because cold outreach sucks, it takes too long. So I just launched seven different ads instead. And I just basically launched the ads at like $10 a day each over time and I basically just watched to see which ad got the most traction, got the most inbound likes, got the most engagement, got the most comments on it and that sort of stuff. And I just stuck with the one, the offer that basically got the most traction. So it's almost, the way how I like to picture this, and I call this the Steve Madden method, I've got a video about this on my channel, but it's, it's almost like you throw 
diff imagine you've got a, a, a pond, right? And you've got bait on a hook and your bait on a hook is your offer. And you're trying to catch fish. Fish are the equivalent to a client, right? So you're putting out these hooks into this pond. The pond is representative of the market. The fish inside the pond are clients and your hook is your offer. So what you're doing is you're, you're throwing out different baits to try and hook different, like try to hook a client, right? So what I did was I, I tested seven different baits. There were seven different pieces of bait and I didn't know which bait was gonna work. So I just tested all seven of them by using, throwing them out there. Throwing them out there is like running, is, is the act of running the ad to see which ad got people to buy on the offer. I just ran these seven ads and I just waited for whichever ad got the most traction and the most um, people buying, I just stuck with that ad. It cost me about 1,200 pounds, like I said. I think it was 1,200 pounds or $1,200 on a different ad account. So I just I just tested these seven different ads, see which one got the most traction. And then I just ran with that offer that got the most traction. So I basically just bought myself a successful offer. Instead of guessing and just, because I know, that, I know what, what a lot of you guys do. You're sat there in your bedroom or in your office or wherever you work and you're writing down all these different offers and you're like, I don't know which offer to test. I don't know which offer is going to work. I don't know what, you're, here's the thing. I'm here to tell you this. And I'm going to rip the bandaid off now. You're not supposed to know and you're not going to know which offer is going to work. No guru on the internet is going to tell you what offer is going to work. You have to take your offer to market to see if it's going to work. Innocent Smoothies did this. Steve Madden did this. You have to throw out offers and see which offer works the best. The best way to test this quickly is by running ads. So if you've got no money to run ads, it's a guessing game from there on in. You're flying blind. You can have an educated guess, but it's still a guess at the end of the day. With ads, you can literally just buy and track your data on a tracking sheet to see which ad gets the most replies back from it, which ad gets the most um, leads from it, which ad gets the most booked calls then you just run with that because you've, you've obviously said something that these people want. So then you just run with that. So you basically just bought yourself a successful business. So I bought myself a successful business instead of trying to mess about sending cold outreach with a new offer and waiting for people to get back to me. That's when I created a unique mechanism because I, I used the ads to come up with a, a unique mechanism. And that was what you call a hybrid personal, my, my thing was hybrid personal brand. I didn't use a tracking sheet to track all my numbers. I stuck to the offer that worked and got the lowest cost per book call, quality cost per book calls that is. I relaunched the winning ads on my new ad account and I made them more professional. So I, I launched them on this ad account, much more professional ad account, and I increased my ad budget as well. So I quickly saw what was working, which ad was working. So I increased the ad budget from $10 a day to $60 a day. And I started landing more calls. And on these calls, I was recording them and I was listening to the objections people were giving me and I was writing them all down. That enabled me to create what you call a small, it was like a VSL, like a private video on my, on my, on my YouTube channel. I actually ended up making it a public one as well. So I made a video, uh, a, a YouTube VSL to drive traffic to it as well. So this is, this is very smart. When I was testing the first ads, I didn't really know what was going to work. Then I figured out what works. Then I created a video sales letter around what worked and I pinned it to my channel. So it was, it was a video that was 35 minutes to 45 minutes long, I believe it was. Yeah, on this channel that you're watching right now, so you can go back, scroll, scroll back through my channel and go and watch it. I forgot what the actual title is. I'll probably throw it in the description if you want me to. If not, just leave a comment. I'll leave, I'll leave it below. But long story short, it was a video sales letter and I basically just put it on my YouTube channel just as a normal video, but it explained my offer and what we're doing. That was all it is. It was just a video explaining my offer, the results we've been able to get, just... It's just a very simple video, almost kind of like this one right now. I won't say this is a VSL. This is more just like a video to show you the results of the VSL. To be honest with you, this is the VSL of results of the VSL, but it's not really a VSL, but you get a point. Made the YouTube VSL and I drove traffic from my Instagram DMs to this. So I was getting, running the ad on Instagram, getting people to DM me, and then I was having conversation with them. And then all I was doing is I was just sending them to my video on YouTube. They would watch my video um, sales that are on YouTube, but they might not book in right there and then. Here's a genius play. Because I sent them to a YouTube VSL instead of a normal VSL, although I didn't collect their email, the best thing about it is because they watch one YouTube video, it gets stuck in your algorithm. You guys know this if you're watching this channel right now and you've clicked on this video, it's probably because you've watched one of my, even if you're not subscribed, it's probably because you've watched one of my previous videos and I'm popping up on your feed now. This is how this stuff works. So it's like I, I every single time I pump out a new video now, I'm probably gonna be on your feed because you've watched my YouTube videos. So this is this is this is how you can kind of get you can hack that game there. I then started closing these calls at roughly 40%. And here's why. People were already sold due to the VSL. 
So what I've noticed in this game of coaches and coaches, coaching coaches and all this crazy stuff, right? This, this insane wacky game that we're in is these online coaches will teach you to run Instagram ads to your Instagram DMs and have conversations and then book a call. But what I've noticed is that those calls still sometimes can be a, bit, a little bit off and not ready to buy just there and then. The quality is not that, sometimes can be not that great if you don't know what you're doing. And most people don't know what they're doing. To be honest with you, just it's just a fact of life. It's it's, a, it's, a diff- it's not a difficult system to understand. It's just that most people, when they first start this out, they it's like riding a bike. You've got to get used to it. So what you've got to do is you've got to put a VSL in the steps. As in like, instead of just booking a call straight away. So imagine you run an Instagram ad. Hey, DM me if you want this free resource. They DM you, you give them a free resource and you have a conversation with them. And then what you do is you send them to a VSL when they start asking questions much deeper. I'm like, hey, I've got a free training on this. Let me send you over to my YouTube channel. And then you click, you send them a YouTube video and they're more inclined to click that because it's just a YouTube video. They don't have to give you that email. They watch the video and then now that you're stuck in that algorithm. So now they see your videos getting posted all the time. And those videos convert people. Long form videos on YouTube converts people better than everything else. Why do you think Iman Gadji shut down his agency to go full time on YouTube? Why do you think Jordan Welsh, the dropshipping guy, has gone crazy with his personal brand? It's because everybody knows long form YouTube is the most prime real estate and you guys need to be jumping on it. And I know that you guys don't want to jump on it because you don't do this social media stuff when realistically you do do this social media stuff because you're watching a video on social media right now. It's just that you do it from the wrong side. Instead of being behind the screen, you want to be the person behind the camera. Make that change, you'll change your life. So that's when I got burnt out, <laughs> to be honest with you, because I, I brought on so many freaking clients on in that particular time frame that I created what you call a work deficit. But um, that's what I've been able to do since then is I've launched a new offer on the 6th of March and I've already made, this was only literally last month, one, uh, one, one month and one day ago, I launched a brand new funnel for a brand new mid-ticket offer and it's already made 23,200 US dollars in its first 25 days. I just made a video about that on my on my channel, the previous video before this. So let's jump straight into this funnel now, guys. So I wanna break this down. Hopefully I've kind of painted the picture of what's going on. I've gone through the revenue. This stuff is still working today. I've gone through the overall stats, the revenue breakdown. I've gone through the, 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 the ad spend, I've gone through how it actually works and the feedback that I had to collect and all that sort of stuff. Don't skip any of those thingies. That's why I just did a review there. Now let's talk about the cross-pollination funnel. I call this the cross-pollination funnel and this is going to change the game for you. Absolutely change the game for you. Once you figure this stuff out, guys, you're never going to do cold outreach again. You're going to think cold outreach is absolutely stupid and you're going to start getting clients for whatever it is that you want to get clients for. I'm telling you, use this for good. Don't sell shit. Don't sell scammy, like info products, I don't want my name associated with that. Do stuff that you're competent in. You're not an expert, because I don't believe in experts. I think experts are actually broke, to be honest with you. You don't want to be an expert. Experts are frigging broke. Not only that, but experts experts don't really put themselves in a position to continuously learn, which is why they get stuck in careers that they don't really like, to be honest with you. Like most doctors are literally miserable, to be honest with you, and those are the experts. When you think of an expert, I always think of a doctor in a white suit. Those guys are broke. I'm not joking, unfortunately. Like, like they're literally like over here doctors make like what 90 the, the top neurosurgeons in the uk make ninety seven thousand pounds a year which is like 120 grand a year i've had months where i've hit 110 grand in a month revenue with 96k cash collected that's usd by the way um so cross-pollination funnel here's what it looks like right and here's the way how i want to explain this give me a second to just explain this correctly i'm doing this raw i want people that can't focus to get off this video because what, what I'm about to say is probably going to be the most important thing you listen to. Cross-pollination funnel will change your life. The way how it works is this. We know that long-form content is the thing that converts people. The problem with creating long-form content on YouTube is that it takes years for you to build up an audience or anything substantial. So what do you do? Because you need people to see your long-form content because it's the long-form content that converts people. If you're watching this right now and you're one of my, uh, you've bought one of my programs or whatever it is, right? You you know this. Or if you've watched Iman Gadji and you've bought one of his programs, you know this. Iman Gadji doesn't send you cold emails. He doesn't just find your email online and then send you a cold email saying, hey, come and buy my course. What he does is he creates videos, um, little those those events that he does, like the, what was it called? The, the Rescue. I think that was his latest, latest one. And what he does is he will get you on on his email list. And of course he will email you on his email list, but that's different from cold outreach. But it's a long form content that really keeps you coming back, listening to him, 
building authority, trust within him that then gets you to buy one of his programs. If I can teach you that bit, I'm telling you, you'll make, you'll, you'll make significantly more money doing, doing cold outreach, infinitely more money doing cold outreach. I don't even think you should do cold outreach. So the problem is this, long form content works and it's the thing that's gonna sell clients. It's just that you need, to, you need them to watch your long form content. And if you're not being discovered every day and you've not got a big channel, it's hard to do this. And to build a big channel, it takes years, years of dedicated work. And most of you guys don't have that, that consistency or that work effort, or you just don't wanna put years into building a YouTube channel because you don't wanna become a YouTuber, which is fine. So I'm gonna show you how you can do this with about five YouTube videos on, your on, on a brand new channel and about nine Instagram posts. You can do this with nine Instagram posts on a brand new page if you don't believe, I'm gonna show you some proof in a second, with about five YouTube channels, I mean, five uh, five videos on one YouTube channel, not five YouTube channels, five videos on one YouTube channel. You can get that done within two to three weeks. If that, five videos can be done, planned out in about two days. You can shoot all of them in one day. You can then post them over a period of, well, you can post three in a week, and then the very next week, you can post two. So that's two weeks worth of work. Nine Instagram posts can be done in nine days, one post per day. So we're looking at about two weeks worth of work to start seeing results, not results like this. I don't think you're gonna get results like this when you first start off. It would be impossible for you to do that. I've been in this game a long time. So here's a cross-pollination funnel, right? We need eyeballs to our content. Here's the thing, do not rely on organic growth. I repeat, do not rely on organic growth or you'll be trying to grow for years. So what we need to do is we need to run ads. Ads, paid ads, like boosted posts are a controllable way to get eyeballs, AKA attention to your middle of funnel content because it's your middle of funnel content that actually sells people. So your middle of funnel of content is basically DMs, your content and conversations that you're having. DMs lead to um, long form content and your long form content leads to sales calls. I don't know why calls is spelled like that. So let me explain this funnel real quick. So I want you to imagine a funnel, right? At the top of the funnel, you've just got like a, like an ad, you need ads running to, so that those ads bring people to your actual long form content for DMs. So DMs can then lead them to long form content. I'll show you what I mean by, by this in a second. And then those DMs get passed on to your YouTube channel, which then has a call to action to book in a call. And then you book calls that way. It's that simple guys. I know that it sounds crazy, but this is the cross pollination funnel. And this is what most people are missing. So what I do is I run ads on Instagram, right? I don't have any ads running just at this very moment in time, like today, it's just cause you saw my, I've got an account error. I'm gonna go fix that in a second. But here's my Instagram page, right? I run ads on my Instagram page. Yes, you can go to my Instagram page, look at my ads, right? And then what I do is I get people to DM me for a certain free resource. Some of those DMs, we just have a conversation and I'll book them in on my calendar by sending them a calendar link. I get on a call with them and then I'll close them for like $3,500. That happens over time, by the way. It's not just like somebody sees an ad, DMs me and then like, oh my God, let me jump on a call straight away. That's a big mistake most people make as well. So be careful of that. Don't think you're gonna run an ad today, get clients today. It takes maybe about seven days to about 60 days for somebody to see your ad, look through your content, keep going through your content, and then eventually decide, you know what, I wanna work with this person. It's an overtime strategy. That's why you guys are broke because you're, you're, trying to, you're, you're trying to figure out this secret method of getting clients today. You're trying to get from zero to 10K a month in literally your first month. It's just not that doable. It's, it's possible, but just because something's happened before doesn't mean it's probable. There's exceptions to the rule, but the exception doesn't make the rule. Yes, there are people that have gone from zero to 10K a month in like their first month, but I'm telling you, that's not probable. What's more prob probable is you build a, a proper system like this that nurtures clients over time. If you, can, if you can switch from thinking a one to two day buying window, this is called a sales cycle. When somebody sees your ad, it might take them about 60 days for them to warm up to you and then buy, sometimes even longer, like 90 days, but that's okay. For example, Iman Gaji knows this. Iman Gaji knows that if you watch his YouTube channel long enough, eventually you'll go on to watch one of his events. If you watch one of those events, you probably sign up to his email list. When you're on his email list, maybe four months down the line, six months down the line, a year down the line, you're gonna keep seeing content from him over time and eventually you're gonna buy. If you can think long-term like that, you're gonna win the game. So stop thinking about how you can make money today. Think about in 90 days from now, in 180 days from now, in a year from now. 
because the sales cycle does take a little while to kick in. And that's just how people buy. When was the last time you saw an ad for something for $3,000 on your first day, clicked the ad, and then whipped out your credit card immediately and bought something for $3,000? It doesn't really work like that, unless it's a very, very reputable brand like Apple with the new Vision Pro things. We all know Apple's a big company to release the Vision Pros for like $3,500. If you bought them, then you know, like off, off the whim. People don't make off the whim purchases above like $1,000. So it takes a little while for people to build up. So that's the first path. So it's add back to my content. So it's an, it's an Instagram ad calling out my exact niche. So if you're an agency owner, if you're a coach, and you can't get clients, chances are it's because of these three things. And I'll list three, three, three things. Then I'll say, you need to change these three things and do these three things. And that's what I call building a hybrid personal brand. Now, if you want a free resource on this, DM me the word hybrid and I'll send you over a free resource. That was the that was me pretending to do the, do the ad. Could be a, a script as simple as that. You post it as a reel and then you boost it on Instagram. Go to Instagram.com, press boost post. Make sure you're using a proper ad account. If you need help with this, just DM me on Instagram, whatever you want to do. You boost the post right? And you get people to DM you. Whilst you're in DMs, you have conversations with people and you, you give them the resource and then you push them to a call. If they don't book in a call, that's completely fine. Because what you can do is you can push them to your YouTube channel. This is primarily where you want to go though. This, this, you want to go this route. The reason why you want to go this route is because you get, you get them stuck in your algorithm. AKA, when I run an ad and get Insta people to DM me on Instagram for a free resource, I'll then give them the free resource, but I'll also send them to either a playlist or a VSL. For example, here's a playlist. So what I do is I get them to DM me on Instagram. So now I'm controlling the flow of new eyeballs to my new to my content. See what I'm trying to say? For example, you post videos on YouTube, but you don't know how many people is going to see that video because you're you're relying on the algorithm. However, what if I told you you can control the flow of eyeballs to your content? AKA, you post one video one time on your YouTube channel, it might get only like three views because you've got a brand new YouTube channel. But what if I told you, you can run ads on Instagram, get a bunch of inbound leads every single day, like 20 people every single day coming in for like $20 a day, right? Run an ad for $20 a day, get 20 people coming in, that's $1 cost per lead, right? That's about average. You get the, you have DM conversations with these people, and then what you do is you just push, push them to that same YouTube video that you just posted that got free views. That's all you do, and that, that one video is gonna be your VSL. That VSL is then a 35 minute long video that sells them on the stuff that you do with proof, case studies, that sort of stuff. If you've got no proof or case studies, you're gonna have to, there's ways to navigate this. If you want help on that, I won't go into too much depth, but there is ways, ways to navigate that. You have to use authority hijacking, all that crazy stuff. But that's, that's the strategy. So once they've watched this video, it's a case study and it's basically breaking down exactly what you do and how you can help them and they can book in a call straight away, right? Or if not, you can send them to a playlist and then they keep watching a link, like linked videos. Each video leads to another video, to another video, to another video. By the time they've watched like 10 different videos, they're probably gonna be ready to buy. Then they, they book in a call on their own accord using the links in your, your YouTube description. And then you get on a call with them. And I'm telling you, these calls are always warmer than these calls. These calls here, after somebody's watched your YouTube channel, and your VSL on YouTube, they're always warmer, so you can actually, they're, they're much easier to close because they've already watched like two, three hours, four hours, five hours, sometimes even 10, 20 hours of your content on YouTube. This is how you do it. This is why you don't need to be famous to do this because you can literally run an ad today with a brand new Instagram page with three posts on it. Ideally, you want about nine posts on there and a YouTube channel with about five videos on there that can be set up within two weeks flat. No joke, you can start this in two weeks flat. I've had a student that has done this in two, he got his first two clients in two weeks, that's Adam. He sells a program on how to flip your first car if you're a beginner using Facebook Marketplace and eBay. Such a simple offer. Start a brand new TikTok page. In fact, his Instagram page right now has less than 400 followers on it. He's got 300 followers on Instagram. I, think, I don't even know if he's got a YouTube channel. If he if he's, hasn't, I'll have to look into it. Don't quote me on this, but if he has, all he needs is five videos on a YouTube channel about flipping cars and a VSL on there. And then what he would do is just run ads on TikTok and Instagram, because it's the same strategy, have DM conversations with people and then push them to that one VSL. The, it's, it's the pinned video on your YouTube channel. You just get people to watch that one video and it warms them up. And then if you can get them to watch that video and link onto some more videos, that, that, that and the videos, by the way, need to dispel people's misbeliefs about flipping cars or whatever your offer is. My belly is rumbling so crazy right now, so forgive me. 
So here are the key takeaways and lessons to this and why you're gonna be able to replicate this. First of all, cold outreach literally sucks so badly and it does not grow you an audience over time. So I want you to use the cross-pollination funnel um, instead. If you don't believe me that cold outreach sucks, I just wanna zoom into this. This was like two, I screenshotted this like two days ago, right? This is a guy that's basically sending around 500 emails per day, including follow-ups which works out to be, he's sending emails five days a week, 500 emails per day, which is no small number, by the way. So it's about 2,500 emails a week he's sending. If you do that, times it by four for four weeks in a month, that's 10,000 emails a month this guy is sending just to set free meetings a month. That's ass cheeks, literally ass cheeks, right? So it, what I want you to understand is that he's doing all this, this work, right? But it's not building him anything. He's putting all this effort into sending 10,000 emails a month but it's not building him an audience. It's He's got nothing to show for it after all these months. He's got no community that's grown over time. He's built no authority or credibility being built. He's got no compound interest being built. There's got no leverage being built and nothing tangible to show for it even if he continues operating like this for the next two years. It's actually better for you if you just start a personal brand. Because over, t let, let's say you do send five email, 500 emails per day, every single day for the next two years straight. Cool, you'll get some clients, but at the end of the day, you've got nothing long-term built for you. Whereas if you build a YouTube channel over a period of two years, now you're starting to build an audience and something tangible that you can fall back on. See what I'm trying to say? Let me, get, let me give you an actual real example of this. By the way, here's a screenshot I took and it's literally, this is on my story, literally right now as I'm making this video. I'm not joking, you can go to my Instagram right now if you're watching this today on the 7th, on the 7th of April. I posted this literally today. Here, another one bites the dust, this guy, um, in January, he messaged me, he says, I'm an agency owner. I'm struggling to get clients. I watched so many videos about, about um, getting clients and it didn't help. I've sent like 10,000 DMs in the last three months. I don't know what to do, can you help me? Then he says, I've now probably sent 10X that because this was obviously back in January. I ended up getting back to him because I saw this going through, going through my messages. I now have probably sent about 10X that and he's got no clients, still got no clients. So this guy spent three months here trying to get clients and another three months. So that's six months of work he's done. Because in January, he said that he's in three months of cold outreach, no clients. It's now been three months since I spoke to this guy. So another three months, three plus three is six months. And he's got nothing to show for it. That's six months of work doing cold outreach. He's got no clients. He's built, and this is the thing that kills me that I need to make you guys understand. Not only has he done this and got no clients or made no money, but he's not actually built himself anything tangible that he can fall back on. He's built no audience, he's built no leverage, he's built no email list, he's built no followers, he's not built anything that he can leverage anymore. He's not built any leverage. Whereas, take a look at Nicholas. Here's one of my students, right, that I'm working with right now as we speak. He's a video editor, so he wanted to start a video editing agency and I told him, don't do that, just sell the idea of helping other people learn video editing. Just it's same, the same stuff, you're just helping people with video editing, but instead of do, like doing it as a service, just teach regular people that don't know how to edit videos, just show them how to edit, edit videos and build themselves up a little audience or whatever it is. Or even, you know, just become an editor, a remote editor for other people and do like freelance work. Just teach people that. Because there's so many people out there right now that would love to just make an additional 1K a month just editing some videos because they're passionate about video editing. But they don't know how to get clients, they don't know how to edit videos, they don't know how to, they don't know how to do this stuff. So just help help those people. Stop trying to stop trying to do all this. Oh, you need to scale a 10k per month business to help other people scale a 10k per month business. No, don't do that. Help people with stuff that you've already done. So this guy's done that. He's now built himself up, and this has only been about three to four months now. So look at the stock difference. This guy has listened to me, and he's instead of doing cold outreach, he stopped doing cold outreach. I know it's scary because you think cold outreach is the only way to get clients. What he's done is he stopped doing cold outreach and he started posting on social media instead. And I know that you think that's scary, but it's not. That's what you call the spotlight, spotlight effect. The spotlight effect, spotlight effect is where, you know like when you go to the gym and you think that everybody's looking at you because you're, it's the first time in the gym? Nobody's really looking at you. You just think they are because it's one of your weaknesses until eventually you get good at creating content and now you know that nobody's really watching you, like, like here to judge you. So Nicholas has built a 45, almost 45,000 um, follower audience in the last three months. He's getting thousands and thousands on, on top of thousands of views. Some of, some of his videos are getting like one point something million views, which has enabled him to build himself up a community of over 2,300 members, as you can see. He's connecting and educating video editors who want to scale their remote editing business to 3K a month. 
because he's done that himself. The group has over 2,300 members in there. He now can then monetize this by getting about, when well, he needs 205 people to say yes to a $50 per month community to be making 10 grand a month, 120 grand a year, passively. Absolutely passively from a school community. Who do you think's in a better position, right? This guy, these two people who've done all this cold outreach and got nothing to show for it, or Nicholas, who has an audience of warm people and a community of over 2,000 inbound leads. Who do you, who do you think is, is on track to make the most money here? Do you think if these guys continue to do cold outreach, they're gonna make more money than this guy? Of course not. The reason why is because all of these are inbound leads. These are all in, these are 2,300 inbound leads. He's got their emails now and he's got them in a, a school community where he can market, market to them and monetize it by pushing them to maybe a high ticket program that he might have or a community that he's building. He's actually building out a, a paid community. But he's in a much better position because he actually has an audience. He's built leverage and he's built something that's actually tangible. You see what I'm trying to say? These two people have built nothing. There's nothing to show for it. This guy has done six months worth of work and he hasn't built a single piece of audience. He's not built an email list. He's not built any inbound leads. He hasn't built an audience. He hasn't built any authority. He's got no leverage. Nicholas, on the other hand, has spent less time than both of these two people, right? Because the other guy has spent six months. Nicholas has spent, let's call it four months, building a TikTok page, which has now generated him over 2,300 members in a school community. And he has a top, this is a top 300 school community now on school. One of the top 300 school uh, communities on school. So he's in a much better position to monetize because these are all inbound leads that have identified themselves and said, yeah, I want to jump into Nicholas's community. These are, don't forget, these are real people. I want you to just picture what, like, imagine your room right now, just the, the room that you're sat in watching this, or wherever you are, and just imagine 2,300 people being in your room because you've invited them into your room. So I know that we see these numbers and we forget how many people these, this actually is. Can you just imagine 2,300 people in, the, in this one room here? That would be insane. You wouldn't even be able to fit that many people in here. The roof would, the, the, the ceiling would probably fall through. You know what I'm trying to say? So like, this is not no joke leads. Whereas these people got literally nothing to show for it. These people are literally in the same position you are right now. If you're trying to start an agency from day one, you're literally in the same position as these guys. Because this guy tomorrow has to wake up and do cold outreach again. So do you. You're, in, you're literally in the exact same position because this guy's got nothing to show for it. So that's one of the big things, big take, big big uh, takeaways. The next thing I need you to 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 to, uh, to listen to is this: stop listening to gurus that are getting rich off of you by selling you on outbound systems, right? They, because they sell you on outbound, doing outbound, when they get you as a client through inbound, and branding, and then they sell transformations instead of services. Let me give you an example. There are gurus out there, and I won't mention any names. And I call this the paradox of practice that are trying, that are telling you, you need to start a marketing agency, sell services, sell them B2B style, and you need to do cold outreach to do, to get clients. But they make all of their money doing the direct opposite things of those four things. They get, they make their money selling information, not a service. That's their course or information program, like a, like a mentorship program. So that's already the opposite thing that you're doing. They are selling B to C style. So they're selling their, their information to regular p everyday people for, on their YouTube channels. That's B to C. They're not selling B to B. And if they are, they're not getting that rich off of B to B. -to -B. It's all B to C. They're also telling you to do cold outreach. They're not doing cold outreach. They're using YouTube. And they're um, building warm audiences. So it's it, pretty much every every which way they tell you, they're doing the direct opposite. They'll tell you to sell B2B services, they sell B2C. They're telling you to do cold outreach, they're not doing cold outreach, they're building warm audiences and running ads. Every one of your favorite gurus, what are they doing? They're posting content on social media to get clients. They're running ads to get clients. You need to do the same. They are selling transformations and not information. So my premise is this, you need to switch to an information synthesizer business. And the way you do that is you go from selling B2B style to B2C. You, you, you sell, instead of selling services, you need to sell transformations. And instead of doing cold outreach, um, you, need to, you need to switch to running ads and doing organic content 
using stuff like the cross-pollination funnel, this funnel right here. This simple funnel will actually make you ridiculous amounts of money, maybe 86 grand in 45 days straight. Running ads as well, here's another lesson. Running ads allows you to test your offers and pick a niche so you can buy what actually works. Let me repeat that. Running ads, because this is important, running ads allows you to test your niche, it allows you to test all these different offers that you've got in your head by allowing you to basically buy your way to a successful offer. And it only takes about three days max to test one ad, at like $30 a day each. I want you to use a system like this because it's better than running a VSL funnel. Now, I know that you guys are wondering, Montel, I've seen these VSL funnels. Do I need to create this like 45 minute long video on my website? You don't need a website for this. I didn't even have a website. It was just a calendar link. It was just basically an Instagram page with an ad that worked. People was DMing me. I DM'd them back, sent them over to my VSL or booked them in straight on a call through Instagram. It's just like that and closed them. No website, just a calendar link. So do you need a website? No, you don't. Not only that, but it also grows your social accounts and your email lists as well as getting your clients. So it's like a it's like a double effect. As a byproduct, you get more followers and those followers get warm over time. Nothing converts like long phone content as well. Nothing converts. That's another key key takeaway. Short phone content is honestly shit, to be honest with you. I think if you notice on this channel, I've I've literally removed all of my short phone content on my YouTube channel. When you send someone to your YouTube channel as well and they watch one video, even if they don't subscribe, they get stuck in your algorithm. So that's like retarget, re remarketing and retargeting. When you generate a new follower in your top of funnel, they warm up over time, creating a seven to 60 day, 60 day sales window, which compounds over time. What I mean by that is I mentioned this, when you get a new follower on Instagram and you DM them on day one, they might not be ready to buy until day 90 or day 60 or day 45. That's completely fine by the way. You need to understand this. People that see your ad today might not be ready to buy until 60 days down the line, but they get warm over time, especially if you start adding YouTube in the mix, which brings me on to my next point. Adding YouTube to the mix makes this stuff honestly overpowered. Because again, it's like, you know long form content works, right? We, we just established that. That's why all your favorite YouTube, all your favorite gurus use YouTube. Alex Amozi, Iman Gaji, insert name here. Jordan Welsh, all these, all these, Hamza, all these big names. They know that long form content converts people. There's nothing like long form content that can convert people. The problem though is that you need to get, a, when you're a beginner, you, you don't get that much traffic to your long form. You get like free views is what I'm trying to say. So to fix this, you need to run ads on Instagram, take that traffic and put it over onto your YouTube channel, that one video. That one video is a sales asset. I call them conversion mechanisms. It's the thing that gets people to, it warms them up and it gets them to book in a call. If they don't book in a call, because you've, they've watched one video from your channel, your channel gets stuck in that algorithm. So when they ne next go to click onto YouTube, if they're logged in, it will, um, and by the way, there's, there's smart links that you can use to make sure that they, when they click your link to watch a YouTube video, it takes them to the logged, the, the actual, in the, the YouTube app on their mobile phone, on like their iPhone, where they're logged in. That's a key takeaway as well, by that's, that's like a pro tip. So adding YouTube makes this overpowered. My Instagram since running, you know, testing these ads since, you know, September time, uh, uh, September-ish times, August, September times, I believe it was. My Instagram has grown from 10.1K followers to 5.8K real followers, all in like first world countries. These are real followers. And these extra 5,000, like 700 new followers will be watching my YouTube videos, soaking up my information and getting warm over time, having conversations with me, watching my Instagram stories and they get warm over time. So I've not even seen the rest of the money yet because they're still getting warm over time. Sometimes it takes like six months for somebody to convert, eight months for somebody to convert. That's completely fine because I know this game, it's a long-term game. My content um, allows them to get warm over time and eventually they'll become clients even if it takes like four to like nine months. I don't mind waiting that time. You guys need to think like this as well. So those are the key takeaways. And again, cold outreach frigging sucks. Don't do it, do this instead. Notice how these guys are struggling to even set meetings this guy's getting can you imagine sending 10,000 emails a month just to get people free people two to three people not even free sometimes sometimes it's two this guy sent 10,000 dms in the last three months and then more than that now i want to say 10x that that's probably an obviously an over exaggeration but he's done more than 10,000 outreach got no clients whereas nicholas he's not doing cold outreach he's creating content 
He's gone from zero followers on TikTok to 44,000 in three months, three to four months, call it four months, to be on the safe side. And he's also grown a community. Fitness has only been live for about two months now. And he's gained 2,300 members in there. These are all inbound leads. You see the difference? Nicholas has an audience now. He's known in the industry. He's got authority. He's becoming a go-to name in the game. He's got himself a community. He's a leader of this community. He has that authority. When you join someone else's group and you, you kind of look at that person as the leader. See what I'm trying to say? Like they, 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 it's their group, so therefore they make the rules. Inbound leads. That's what it is. Now, let me just break down, last but not least, the common objections and false beliefs that you're gonna run into when you're trying to do this stuff. You don't, you don't need to have hundreds of videos on a YouTube channel. You just need five videos on, a YouTube, on one YouTube channel with one VSL. So you can have five videos that are just regular everyday videos of you just explaining what your offer is and just talking about flipping cars and the things about flipping cars, I'm using Adam as an example. And then one longer video, which is like a 45 minute long video, which is a VSL. Those five videos need to shift beliefs and that one VSL needs to push to a, to a book call with a calendar link underneath in the description. You don't need thousands of followers on Instagram neither and you don't need thousands of uh, subscribers on YouTube for this to work. You can literally do this from, from zero followers in two weeks actually, two weeks flat. Adam did this in two weeks. You do not need to become a famous YouTuber or a YouTuber in general for this to work. You just need five YouTube videos on a channel all five need to break down a certain common misbelief or a common objection, that's very important. Your videos need to shift people's beliefs and break down common objections. And you just need to maybe just do one to two videos a week. I would do probably two to three videos a week just to keep it up. So it's not like you're becoming a YouTuber. They just can be raw videos, kind of like how I'm doing right now. You don't need a massive audience and you don't need to spend five years building one. You can get clients in three weeks. Yeah, technically two weeks actually. Two weeks due to running ads or if you're gonna do organic short form content. This short form content though, needs to, you need short form content to your Instagram, to, to your DMs. So if you're doing short form content on TikTok and Instagram Reels, you need to get people to DM you for a certain resource. That resource you give them and you continue to have a conversation with them and then you send them over to your YouTube channel. That's the cross pollination funnel. It's that simple. I'm not joking, it's literally this simple. And you're on your channel, you need five well-placed videos that each individually handle a certain common objection. Right, and that's what you need to do. And you need one VSL on there. So you need six videos on your YouTube channel in total. Um, and you don't need thousands of dollars to do this. You can literally start with $10 a day to run ads. I would start with what you have. So start with $10 a day, all the way up to like $100 a day. I know that some of you, you're not gonna start with $100 a day if you don't have the budget. You start with $10 a day. So calm down, calm down. Just because I said $100 a day, doesn't mean you need to literally go to Instagram right now and start spending $100 a day unless you have the money. If you do, then I recommend, honestly, I'd, I I still wouldn't even recommend starting with $100 a day. I'd probably start at like $30 a day. And you can do this organically. And I've made roughly 700K organically. It's just that organic traffic, honestly, is just so unpredictable, unscalable. It's kind of like you're relying your whole entire business and income. And then because your income's tied to your livelihood, your entire livelihood goes up and down because traffic goes up and down because it's organic and organic goes up and down and the algorithms go up and down. So if you don't want an up and down life, don't build an up and down business. And to not build an up and down business, you don't need an up and down, tra up and down traffic source, if that makes sense. It's the most simplest way I can explain it. Running ads is honestly the most predictable way to scale. So guys, honestly, that's basically how I did it. I want you to review this video, download this video because it's gonna be very important. Rewatch it until this stuff sinks in. This is more important than listening to your favorite guru talk about cold outreach. You guys know these guys aren't doing fucking cold outreach and if they are doing cold outreach, they, they're recording themselves doing cold calls and then putting it on YouTube and getting thousands of views from it because they're trying to sell you a program on doing cold outreach. When realistically, they make all their money from the YouTube stuff. So guess what I'm doing? I'm just I'm just being very meta and very open with you guys and saying, look, I think we all should be building, first of all, information synthesizer businesses. It's much more scalable. The next thing we should be doing is using social media to get clients. If you're running a social media marketing agency and you don't know how to use social media to get clients for your social media marketing agency, that is like the biggest red flag ever. That's like a fat person trying to teach me how to run a marathon. You know what I mean? That's like somebody who's doesn't know how to drive a car trying to teach me or, or tell me how to drive a car. Makes no sense. Makes no sense. It's like trying to explain color to a blind person. Like how are you running a 
the, the literal key word is in the title, a social media marketing agency, and you don't even know how to use social media to market your own stuff, to get clients for your social media marketing agency. You don't even believe, you don't even practice what you preach. Know what I'm saying? But anyway, guys, that's how I did it. Here again, I'll just zoom into the numbers so you can kind of see them once more. But that's basically how I did it, guys. Anyway, peace.